simply hardware failure. You have demand issues that go beyond what your hardware and infrastructure are planned for. You have puzzling performance issues to track down, discover why they happened, and fix them. Now with Murphy's Law, you expect the unexpected, you just don't know when. This is where AI can help. To enable innovation, you need everything running reliably. And that means enabling ops to be better than ever. The operational paradigm of the cloud offers a service abstraction that encapsulates operational excellence. But in order to enable you to innovate, that concept has to meet you where you are. This is where AI ops comes in. We're really talking about autonomous clouds, self-driving clusters. AI ops is the combination of platforms, big data, and AI ML that enhances practices like performance monitoring, event correlation and analysis, and management. At Red Hat, we're actively enabling this with solutions like Red Hat Insights and core concepts in OpenShift 4, such as operators. With AI ops, the infrastructure learns from the data and gains the ability to predict issues before they become problems. An example of a partner who is doing incredible work in the AI ops space is ProfitStore. Their solutions are being built on OpenShift and enhance its scaling and scheduling capabilities. ProfitStore and AI ops help operations teams predict and optimize workloads and resources in your cluster. And now, I'd like to welcome Brian to show you AI ops in action. Please welcome ProfitStore's solution architect, Brian Jang. Thanks, Chris. So as introduced, I'm Brian. I'm a solution architect over at Profit Store, and I'm going to be talking about our AI ops solution, Federator AI, for OpenShift. So Federator AI, what we do is we simplify the cost optimization process for both day one and day two operations in OpenShift. For day one, as many of you know, there's hundreds of cloud providers out there, each with their own instance types and price structures and new users to cloud environments might not readily know which cloud provider to choose or even know their own application workload, right? So that's where we come in, Profit Store. You just tell us the application and the optimization policy and we'll recommend which cloud provider and instance type to choose based on that profile. So we do all the, all the legwork for you, right? And then for day two, that's where our machine learning AI comes in. We learn the resource usage of each pod in your cluster and we predict future resource usage. And with those predictions, we can apply it to the native Kubernetes scheduler and autoscalers for a much more intelligent resource utilization than the current historical algorithmic method, right? And from these two uh, solutions, you can kind of see that we're being a force multiplier with OpenShift to enable your team to streamline operations, save resources, and allow them to manage systems more efficiently and in less time. So just some more details about our day one solution. The user tells us what application he wants to deploy, or about how many requests per day, and the optimization policy, whether it's cost, performance, SLA. And from that, we'll generate which cloud provider and instance type to deploy your application into. But you know, if the user also wants to deploy directly into his own cloud, we can just directly recommend how much resources he'll need in terms of CPU and memory. And then day two, as I said before, that's where our machine learning AI comes in. We predict the future usage of each pod and we apply it to the native Kubernetes scheduler and autoscalers. And according to our test results, we can improve your resource utilization by 60%, right? So if you guys can see the, the graph behind me, there's a white dotted line, which is our predicted CPU usage. And it's about 10 minutes ahead of the blue solid line, which is our current observed CPU usage. But you can see that these two lines are really intertwined, which shows that you know, our prediction engine is really accurate at this point. 
So with these accurate predictions, we can recommend where to put your pod request and limit at, which is the green line and yellow line, respectively. And we can also automatically execute these recommendations. So your operators don't even need to worry about scaling the cluster themselves, right? Okay. And then uh, let me just switch over to a web browser. This is a Grafana environment. It's a side-by-side -side comparison of the native Kubernetes horizontal pod autoscaler and our Federator AI horizontal autoscaler. And I'm just gonna be calling it a HPA from now on because it's shorter. But you can see uh, we found that we outperformed the native one in these three main categories, right? For the same identical workload, we can use 19% less replicas. So that's directly saving you 19% resources, right? And then we can also reduce your CPU over limit instances by 61%. So every time your application hits a CPU over limit instance, it gets performance issues and slow down, slows down. So it's really big that we help out there. And actually the biggest thing right now is we reduce your out of memory instances by 90%, almost 90%. Every time an application hits an out of memory issue, it stalls out and crashes. So you want to avoid these at all costs. We do that 90%. Uh, then, so this is a Grafana uh, environment. There's all this data. We have a booth that you guys can go over with us later about it. But just know for now, this is, a, this is only a side-by-side -side comparison of the HPA, the horizontal pod autoscaler. But we can be applied to the vertical autoscaler, the cluster autoscaler, the scheduler. And all these different facets of your OpenShift cluster can be optimized using machine learning AI with our Federator AI solution, right? And the really cool thing is that once we have those usage predictions of each pod, the future resource usage, we can feed that back into our day one tool. It can get new recommendations of which cloud provider and instance type to choose. So now your full stack from your resource usage all the way up to your cloud provider is fully optimized using Federator AI, profit store, right? So that's it. Uh, we're going to be in a general section. We have a booth, booth 1134. If you guys have any questions or want to get more details, come say hi, talk to us. Thank you.